Hi, so I just wanted to pass on some resources that might help with the uh, math in this portion of the course, especially if you haven't um, had any trig or um, worked with vectors before, or even if you have, there are some things that kind of um, you can use to kind of put things in context. So this is an, uh, there's a, a blog here um, that has a three-part um, article on um, linear algebra for game developers, which is kind of nice. It puts things in context. Um, so the first thing they talk about, in fact, here is this is a 2D game. Um, and in fact, we used um, 2D vectors in um, in uh, the teddy bear class. This is from uh, Lab 6. And um, if you might remember we had this uh, vector object that takes two, uh, keeps track of two floats. So this is a two-dimensional vector, the vector two object. And you'll even notice down here we make use of this uh, cosine and sine. So I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so these are some uh, trig functions. Uh, the um, that, that you'll get to uh, later on down here. Um, for the vector addition, there's a nice little discussion about you know why what vector addition is good for. So here we have a grid and Mario is going you know at this at this stage of the jump Mario is going one this way and three this way. So it's a a 1 3 vector and here he's going 1 this way and 2 that way so this is a 1 2 vector so it's really the addition of these these different vectors here and here the we have a negative y component for these vectors when he's coming down um, so let's see I think there's a even a Wolfram piece there's a there are these nice Wolfram demos and here's uh, there are a couple of them on vector addition um, so you can see that uh, u here equals minus 1 in the y direction. So that's, there's the y vector is going down. In fact, we can click here and show the vectors, I think. Yeah. Okay. So here's the unit vector in the y direction. Here's the unit vector in the x direction. So um, the we would have to multiply this y vector times a negative one to get it go, to go down to this um, this level of the of the grid, right? To get it to go down one, and then the x would have to be multiplied by two to get it to extend out here, right? So this so this u could be thought of as the sum of um, one times this vector plus two times that vector, okay? Um, so you can, so that's why we have these expressions. These are basically, you know, adding up multiples of the unit vector is, is a common way of expressing vectors themselves. And then if I get rid of this a second, you can see that um, W is the sum of U and V. So this is a nice thing you can play around with. Um, there's another um, example <clears throat> using the parallel parallelogram method for um, uh, adding vectors and you'll see discussion of, of both the um, a, um, triangle method and the parallelogram method in the um, in the course video um, so that's that's a nice thing there and then um, oh yeah then there's this discussion so um, we have more discussion from this uh, this blog post, this part of this blog post, he talks about length of vectors, you know, how you calculate the length. So you're going to use, and basically you're using the distance formula here that you're probably familiar with um, for, um, you know, if the, in, the, in the xy plane, it's the, the length of this vector is 5 because we, get, we go 4 this way and 3 this way. So basically, we take the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared, and that gives us the length of 
the vector. Okay. Um, 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 what else? Oh, then there's this discussion of dot product. Um, and I like the way that, that um, this guy describes it is that it's um, basically kind of a way of measuring um, how much these two vectors are pointing in the same direction. Okay, and there's also an issue of, of the, the length of them, which we'll look at in a second. But, you know, given it that if these two are the same length, so right now we can see that the length of A and the length of B is one grid cell. So they each have a length of one. So A dotted with B is, a, is one when they're facing in exactly the same direction. A dotted with B is zero when they're absolutely, you know, um, perpendicular to each other, okay, and then when they're in the opposite direction, a dot b is minus one, and um, this is formalized a little more in the video um, when he talks about the um, the dot product as being a function of the the angle between the two, okay, and then, and again, if you haven't seen this. Uh, cosine before, there's a nice little um, uh, Wolfram uh, thing on that, if you can, um, so basically the idea is the, the cosine, if the, if the two vectors are both unit vectors, again, just like in, um, in this example where A and B both have length 1, if um, if both the vectors are unit vectors, then this projection down here is so. So if we like cast a shadow, let's say if the sun is shining straight down, and we're casting a shadow, we get this blue line, which you might not see in the video, but you can see if you um, try out the uh, the demonstration. Um, this blue line here is um, the cosine of um, this angle. All right, so we have an acute angle, and um, that's the cosine. Um, you can also like move this around, and you can see what happens to the um, dot product is it gets smaller and smaller as we get close to being perpendicular here. We can get it right to zero if they're if they're pointed in exactly the same direction then the the shadow lengthens until we get gets to one so see so that that shadow that gets cast gets smaller and smaller and smaller and then if we go start going in the opposite direction to an obtuse angle then we start getting a negative dot product until we go all the way over to minus one okay so um so that's a that's another um, thing you can play around with. Let me see what else did I put up here. Oh, and this is yeah, this is showing you the reference angle. So basically, the input to that cosine function is this angle. So when the angle is um, let me see, can I make it zero? When the angle is well, when the angle is close to zero then the cosine is close to 1. And as the angle gets closer to 90, then at this point the cosine would be 0. Okay. So you can, you can look at, so you can go back, kind of flip back and forth between these and see, you know, what your angle is and, and what the cosine is for that angle. Um, and let's see. Okay, yeah, then there's, there's some more... Um, stuff in here having to do with basis vectors and and translations and and uh, you know different transformations and using matrices and stuff so there's a lot of good stuff in here um they they can support the um the the videos there's another uh resource here that is 3D Math Primer for graphics and game development. And again, there's a lot of good stuff in here um, as far as, uh, you know, walking you through 
the Cartesian coordinate system, but from the point of view of a of somebody who's trying to program graphics in 3D space, and the, you know, looking at at multiple coordinate spaces, there's a discussion in the video about how um, you know the the world might have one coordinate system, and the um, the particular object in the in the world will have another one. The camera will have another one, and so on. So there's a discussion of that, and then they they get um, uh, into vect vectors. They have a nice uh, discussion about vectors and scalars, vector dimension, and all that jazz. So and then operations on vectors, and 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 really this is focused on the math that you need um, for graphics again. So. Um, so it's a nice, uh, another nice companion piece to, um, and it has a lot of nice pictures and stuff. So it's another nice companion piece to the uh, to the videos.